good morning today let's learn about ponds so where is ponds and which part of brain it is first let's consider the brain so this is the cerebrum this is the ponds and this is medulla as you see pons is a part of brain stem so behind the pons we have a cavity called the fourth ventricle this fourth ventricle occupies both the posterior aspect of the pons and the medulla so behind the fourth ventricle we have the cerebellum so what are the parts of brain stem the brain stem consists of midbrain pons and medulla today we are going to study in detail about pons so pons first we'll study the external features so as you see pons is bulged anteriorly and flat posteriorly so if you see the anterior surface it has got a con a, a convex anterior surface this got a convex anterior surface this is the anterior aspect this is the anterior aspect the pons has got a convex anterior surface and it has got lot of transversely running fibers which is running on either side if you see an anterior view if you see an anterior view the pons will be like this and this will be the medulla which will be continuing as spinal cord so we have a lot of transversely running fibers in the pons and these transversely running fibers will end in the middle cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle if you see just medial to the middle cerebellar peduncle we have the origin of trigeminal nerve we have the origin of trigeminal nerve if you see the anterior surface there is a sulcus right in the midline this sulcus lodges the basilar artery and hence the sulcus is called sulcus basilaris there is a groove which is present between the pons and the medulla and this groove runs transversely the anterior aspect of medulla in the center on either side has got a elevated portion called the pyramid and lateral to the pyramid we have one more elevated region called the olive so medulla will be dealt detail in another lecture class just at the junction between the pons and the medulla at the level of the pyramid we have from the groove we have the origin of abduction nerve then just if you notice over the olive between the pons and the medulla at the level of the olive we have the emergence we can see the emerging of two cranial nerves there is the facial and facial and vestibulo cochlear nerve so that's about the anterior aspect if you go to the posterior aspect there are following features 
the posterior aspect forms the upper part of the floor of the fourth ventricle so the upper part of the this is the fourth ventricle and this is the upper part of the floor of the fourth ventricle so this area forms upper part of the floor of the fourth ventricle then at the lower aspect along the lateral part okay, lower lateral aspect we have a uh, angle called the cerebello pontine angle and near and this angle is situated very close to the aperture of the fourth ventricle we have lateral apertures of the fourth ventricle so this cerebellar pontine angle is present very close to the aperture of the fourth ventricle lateral aperture of the fourth ventricle so it contains some of the nerves and the vessels which are lying close to that area that is the cerebellar pontine angle they are the facial vestibular cochlear and the glossopharyngeal nerves the nervous intermedius and sometimes the labyrinthine arteries also lie in the region in the dorsal aspect is bounded supralaterally by the superior cerebellar peduncle so that forms the boundary and the infralaterally it is bounded by the inferior cerebellar peduncle the superior cerebellar peduncle is the connection between the midbrain and the cerebellum and the inferior cerebellar peduncle is the is the connection between the medulla and the cerebellum this dorsal aspect is nothing but the upward continuation of the medulla behind the pyramids and this dorsal aspect continues upwards as the tegmentum of the midbrain so this is about the external feature next we'll study about the internal feature of spons